Yeah, they've done a really good job. You know, they listen. Um, you know, they, they learned from a great player last year as far as how he conducted himself both on and off the field and how he prepared himself each and every week. Um, and these guys are doing a good job. I mean, there's a lot getting thrown at them right now. And, you know, really, and, and Brent has a little bit more experience because he wasn't redshirted last year. But at the same time, you know, they only had 15 practices of spring ball. And, you know, now they're having to – we're installing fast, and they're doing a really good job of picking it up. I mean, they're throwing the ball well. They can do some things arm strength-wise that – and, and Tyler was a great quarterback, don't get me wrong, but they can do some things that, and, and maybe make some throws that maybe Tyler couldn't make all the time. I think we've been doing well. You know, I, I really do. I think that, uh, you know, we're eliminating some of the little mistakes that you might have in early in camp. I mean, that's one of the positives. I mean, really, today was the first day. It's our third day. It's the first day we even had a turnover out in practice. So, I mean, that's a positive uh, thing as well, you know, because ball security is job security, basically. Um, you know, so really like our tempo the last two days. I think that there's some guys out there making plays. I mean, I think we've got a really good receiving core. I, there, we're young in spots there, uh, but we're very talented there as well, too. And, you know, the strength of our offense right now has got to be our offensive line because, you know, we are experienced. We have some experience coming back there. And, you know, that's a good thing to have when you're breaking in a new quarterback. You know, my first year I ever got my full-time job, back in 1994, we actually started a true freshman quarterback. We only won one game that year, all right? So, so since 90, 1994, no. I mean, it's the youngest group I have ever had, even as a whole, too. I mean, it's not like I have an opportunity to start a redshirt sophomore, but then I also got a senior on the team. I mean, that's the thing about it. So it is different, uh, but I like it. It's fun. You know, it's, it was really – you know, with, with, with Tyler's progression, to see him progress each and every year, that's something nice to be able to see because I, I deal with them on an everyday basis. Well, it's the same thing. These guys are like sponges. They want to learn. They want to listen. They want to get better. And, you know, that's where it starts. It's, they're going to take pride in that as well. And then eventually that will show, up, show uh, up on the field. You know, I, I don't really look at it as a battle. I'm just trying to be the best I can be on the field. And, and I'm rooting for Brent, and he's rooting for me. So it's, it's more of just, you know, do what's best for the team. And, I feel confident myself, but I also feel confident in Brent. So, you know, however that thing works out is, is the best, best for the team. Uh, you know, I feel like I'm, I'm getting the offense down a little bit better. You know, I'm, I'm a redshirt freshman, so there was definitely a learning curve there. But getting a grasp on it, you know, there's, I'm far from perfect right now. There's tons of things I need to work on and tons of things I need to get better at. But I feel like as the year goes on and as this fall camp progresses, I think I'll get a little better grasp of it. Oh, it's been very valuable. You know, everyone says you win, win games up front. And our line is, is huge. You know, they're the veterans of the group, and our receivers are young, but they're but they're talented. I mean, we have you know Ray Ray Davis is you know I would say he's one of the best receivers in the country. So, you know, we got guys that's older guys helping out the talented young guys, and, and to me that's a good mix. Yeah, you know, being a red shirt, you, you, it's kind of you know you're upset, you're not getting to play. You know, you got to watch the team go, but you get to get in the weight room and you get to get in the fill room and and kind of get, get some bulk on you and get some knowledge in your head to, to help you this year where I'm at. I believe playing a little bit last year will help me. You know, I, I got put in some situations where I can learn from and uh, definitely learn from uh, the standpoint of just being under pressure and things like that. So uh, I think that will help out a lot this year. Tyler was a great, uh, great leader to look up to. You know, he, he prepared for the game like, like no one else. And uh, he, he was someone uh, who studied film and uh, practice uh, hard every day. So, you know, we, Corbin and I try to take the, you know take that role and just continue to do what he did. Uh, I think tempo. You know, we're uh, we try to get so many plays done in you know short short time period during practice. So, you know, our tempo's uh, it's going well. You know, we're uh, lining up fast and uh, just trying to run the ball quick, throw the ball quick, and uh, catch the defense off guard. At will, you know, Eck had it pretty easy last year. You know, he had slept in and then he could. Uh, uh, do a lot of film on his own and stuff, but you know, having you know full full of class days and things like that, you'll you'll definitely have to uh, uh, learn to keep your time management and uh, you know uh, stay in stay intact with that. Huge, huge. Those two guys are are experienced. They've got MIAA action under their belt. Um, you know, Ray Ray's caught 111 balls over the last two years, and he's he's getting better and better in our offense. He knows exactly what I want him to do, exactly where he needs to be. And you know he's he's one of the best receivers around, and we're we're excited that he's back for another year. Austin Willis, first three days of camp has looked like a new person, 
Um, you know, he's always been a good player, a hard worker, but he's taken his game up another level. And, you know, like you said, we've got some young guys who've got a lot of talent in Kavosky Irvin, Mitch Foote, even Dwayne Sanford, who we've just moved over. Drake Smith is going to help us out a lot. Even Corey Lomberger's having a good camp so far. So, you know, they say the O-line is, you know, a strength of our offense, but, you know, the receivers are going to run the show. Just how physical we've been so far with our blocking and, uh, and, and getting after it on the perimeter in, in that sense, but also the fact that we catch a ball, we're, we're taking off downfield with it. You know, some, sometimes we throw some short passes in our offense, but our guys know how to go make a play when they've got the ball in their hands, and, and that's what we're looking for. I think I am definitely, you know, more established, and I, I have those reps, like in the MIAA. And, you know, hopefully I can take that role that Sean played, you know, a little bit, probably not as much as he did because, you know, Sean Richardson. But, you know, hopefully I'll step into that role a little bit, get the ball a little bit more. But, I mean, if I have the least amount of catches out of all the receivers every game and we win games, it doesn't matter. So, uh, you know, they both have their strengths and weaknesses. Um, you know, Corbin's got a strong arm. Brent's got a strong arm. You know, they both uh, know, getting to know the playbook a little bit better. So, you know, whichever one, you know, wins the battle at quarterback, you know, I think they'll be ready. So uh, they're very talented, very talented young group. Um, you know, we got speed. Um, we're getting stronger. So I think right now it's just getting used to the plays, getting in the playbook, and you know, learning the routes. So I mean, it just yeah, I think like you said, body maturation. Um, you know, we're, this is the best summer I think we've had since I've been here. Um, everybody's weights and their you know lifting and all that it went way up. Um, speed stayed about the same. You know, we're we're always fast. So I think it was a really, good, really, really good summer. Well, for one, it's kind of like my last go around, you know what I mean? So uh, I'm pretty excited to get back on the field and getting a chance to see what these new quarterbacks can do, you know what I mean? They're young, but they're like I said, they're pretty talented. And um, they're just as good as Tyler Eckenrow was, so they'll be able to lead our team to do big things this year. Whoever they put out there, I mean, it really doesn't matter because, like I said, they're both competing to win that job. But I've been catching a lot of balls from Brent before, but I, Corbin's really standing out to me right now. But, like I said, they're both competing real hard to get that number one spot. Yeah, I've been playing in my double-A the past couple of years, you know, and uh, throughout the years I've noticed that this is the SEC of D2. And, it's, I mean, it takes a lot of leadership throughout the team, you know what I'm saying, to uh, step up and be that leader. And uh, that's what Coach Higgins wanted me to do, so I'm, I'm pretty solid with doing my job. Personally, I feel like I have to work more on my route running. I think mainly I have to work better on my blocking, my blocking schemes. So I'm, I'm in my playbook pretty hard right now, trying to figure out where I need to be and where I need to fit and things like that. And I feel like if I approve that, I can, the sky's the limit.